Uh, gold uh, has been trading down all day. I, I, I was up at 6, 3.30 this morning. We had gold up $5.20. Right now it's down 10.20 in the February month. And the January silver month is down 14 cents. Thank your government. One of the interesting things here that you've got to look forward to is that from the top to the bottom, real estate, the stock market, bonds, this bubble that's in the process of bursting, are all going to go down somewhere between 80 and 90 percent eventually if I'm right about the depth of this depression. And we are already starting the beginning of February, <coughs> two years after I announced the recession started, and I was the only one to do so. A couple of guys came on later, like uh, Rubini and Schiller, <coughs> uh, Schiff. They came about a, a year later. And, of course, our government caught up by, uh, two months ago, uh, which is all political. And you'll never get the truth of them. <coughs> the deepness of this recession is going to be profound. Even commodities are probably going to go down 60, 65, 70 percent. The only thing that's going to hold its value is gold. And if all of those things went down 60 to 90 percent and gold stayed exactly where it was, you still held your money together. You still stayed out of harm's way. Silver will go down too, like other commodities will. But you've got to have silver coin for barter. You can't take the risk of not having it. Now, gold and silver should go up to $2,000 and 50 to $100, respectively. It will happen. But I'm just giving you the worst-case worst case scenario is 100% better than what everybody else is going to experience. And the food that you put away is going to save your life. And maybe the weapon that you have as well. And if you have that filter, you can go to the the nearest creek or the nearest river and get water. And you've got protection to get there. So this is the story of our times. It's not doom and gloom. It's the reality of truth. And I know you're all truth seekers so you wouldn't be listening to the program. So you know what to do. Go and do it. Thank you, Bob. That was a very insightful half hour, and I uh, appreciate it. And I know the listeners do, too. Um, I just have one quick question. You talked about the uh, about the attack on Gaza and the Illuminists uh, and their timing for everything. Um, was there timing to begin this while Bush was still on duty? Are they looking for some sort of a situation with Obama? Was there a reason why they needed to start it prior to the to the new watch? I think probably it was started before the new watch for a reason. Quote, not presently, but later to be blamed on Bush. Because, you know, he's like a battering ram. Um, he does, guy doesn't have anything in his head. So if you smash his body up against an abutment, it won't make any difference. He probably won't feel any pain. And uh, history will say that he did it. Now, they're going to keep everything on him, and he really doesn't care. And neither do the criminals in his family. And so uh, the situation in the Middle East is a long-term plan. And uh, it'll come to fruition, and, it, and it'll become a nuclear war when these people want it to be. And that could be two years from now, a year and a half. But the game has begun. And uh, 
Israel will be told when to take Lebanon and Syria and attack Iran. And if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably the attack on Iran. And it could happen sooner. It's probably about a year and a half away. And I base that on a number of factors, but which I can't go into here because I don't have time. But uh, that's the way it looks. And, of course, you know, we've got these other hot spots like uh, Kosovo and Georgia. They could get them going again. And for good reason. <laughs> to keep the Russians busy. So there's all sorts of forces at work. But you got to remember. Hold on. The I, these... I think we're at break. I don't hear any. I didn't hear any well, notice. So we'll keep on talking. you got to remember that... Russia is still a giant viable force, and uh, <clears throat> they'd not like nothing better to stop Israel, believe me. Since the beginning of time, kings have sought it, nations have fought for it, it has been traded, it has been borrowed, it has been purchased, it has been stolen, there's a reason for it. To secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and to our posterity, invest with the security of gold and silver. Call Discount Gold and Silver Trading at 1-800-375-4188 or visit DiscountGoldAndSilverTrading.net. Listen to Financial Survival with your host, Melody Cedarstrom, and regular guest, world-renowned economist Robert Chapman, right here on FirstAmendmentRadio.com at 4 p.m. Eastern or 1 p.m. Pacific Time. Visit DiscountGoldAndSilverTrading.net. Or call Discount Gold and Silver Trading at 1-800-375-4188. Toll free, 1-800-375-4188. They want to change. Oh, because you made a deal. And thank you for joining us this afternoon. You're listening to Financial Survival. 1-800-375-4188. That's 1-800-375-4188 for a complimentary issue to the International Forecaster. And, Bob, would you like to tell us about the International Forecaster, please? Uh, the forecast is about business finance, economics, and social and political issues all over the world. Uh, we publish on Wednesday and Saturdays via email. It runs around, well, today was 39 pages. And... Um, uh, we also have the hard copy that goes out twice a month for those who are not on the Internet. Uh, if you'd like to visit our site, that address is the internationalforecaster.com. The international, F-O-R-E-C-A-S-T-E-R.com. If you'd like to email us, got a question, want a free copy, whatever, that address is international underscore forecaster at yahoo.com international underscore forecaster at yahoo.com 1-800-375-4188 for your complimentary issue and of course we still have some of those 63 saints and you can have a silver eagle a free silver eagle and of course if you purchase uh uh, the Mid State 63, $20, thank God, and you can earn a one year subscription to the International Forecaster. 800 375 4188. That's 1 800 375 4188. And for questions for the program, you can direct them to discount gold and silver at yahoo.com. Are you ready to go for some questions, Bob? Before I say one thing, every one of you who does not or does have coins, Every time you get 500 or 1000 or 1200 dollars, you should go out and buy another coin. I strongly urge that. And you know, after a year you might have another dozen coins. Very important. And it kind of averages you because, you know, if you have parameters on gold and it tra it trades between 800 and 1500 dollars an ounce over a one year period. Uh, your average cost might be only 890. So think about that. Uh, you know, when, every time you get some money that you don't need for something else, 
get another coin. And that's why these deals that Melody has to get the subscription or the extension on the subscription is so good. Absolutely. And you know what, Bob, you're right about purchasing. Very few dealers out there will accept a one-coin order. And uh, That's right. The only time we've ever put a limit on anything was when we were having the crunch on the Silver Eagle, and I couldn't sell anything, you know, and now we still go by a roll of 20, and for a short period of time we had a minimum of 100 because I, I just couldn't, you know, keep that much in when you had the big fluctuations that we've had in the silver prices. So sometimes silver, yes, there can be a little bit of limitations on that. But uh, for one coin orders, uh, uh, we have sold a one-tenth ounce gold eagle to people, and uh, we're one of the very few that do. 